So guys, how are you? I'm Dog. I'm back. Uh, question for a Dog. Dog, how are you feeling ahead of this fight, Bruce Lee? I feel great. You know, um, obviously I wish I could have been more active because I wanted to keep on uh getting some fights, okay. but what? Okay. Go away, Siri. Stupid bitch. But like I'm saying, you know, I've been working, I've been training. I'm confident about my abilities in the ring, you know. I'm hyped for a Saturday. Doug, what made you take this fight with Bruce Lee? You know, Bruce Lee and I have been friends for a while. We've been training together for uh, a long time. We've been working for a long time. Um, but, you know, when it comes to the rankings, you know, there's no friends in this game. And uh, he was a good ranking for me to fight. Obviously, I wish I could have been more active, but, you know, I'm back. And um, Saturday night, I'm going to make a statement and uh, beat Bruce Lee. Doug, is there anything personal with Bruce Lee in this matchup? Nah, there's nothing personal. I respect this guy. He's a cool dude. You know, he's chill. He's nice. He's humble. Well, he, he trash talk his opponents, but, you know, when he's respectful, he's in the zone. I respect this guy, but, you know, he's not on my level, and I'm going to prove that on the ring on Saturday when I go out there and I beat him. Doug, how is training going for this fight? Training is going really well. I've worked a lot of uh, stuff in this camp. I've trained my ass off for this fight, you know. I knew Bruce Lee is going to be a tough fight. I know Bruce is going to be a really hard fight, but... I know my skill levels, and I know that I'm going to uh, take him out on Saturday because I know my level, I know where I stand, and um, I'm very confident in my abilities to uh, win this fight and um, go forward in my career. Um, Doug, with the win over Bruce Lee, who do you want next? Um, I'm not sure. You know, it depends on who's in the rankings, you know, who's next, higher, because... Um, so, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, training. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, just get this win, you know. I'm excited for it. Uh, it's gonna be a great fight. And, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Doug, how's training going for this fight? Really good. Really good. You know, I've been running, sparring. I've been training with some Team Mario members. You know, the devil's been coming around, helping me train for this one. You know, he's been training for his fight in March. Uh, so, you know, it's honestly an honor for him to come train with me as well. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday night. And I'm ready to go to war with Bruce Lee. But I will come out victorious no matter what. Um, Doug, um... <clears throat> Do you believe Bruce Lee will be a tougher fight than your previous fight? 100%. Bruce Lee is going to be extremely tough. He's got speed. He's got counters. He's got boxing abilities. He's a very talented fighter. He's a talented athlete. He's very well-rounded. He's versatile. He's agile. And honestly, you know, I'm very excited to see what he can bring to the table because I know I have a lot of agility. I know my versatility needs to keep improving and shit, and, but... You know, I'm honestly excited for this. You know, I'm ready to go out there and get this win. I'm hungry for this fight. I've been training. I'm going to train to be a world champion. I got myself on a two-fight win streak. I'm going to move that to three-fight win streak after Saturday when I uh, beat Bruce Lee in Las Vegas live on, in uh, the Apex. Dog, obviously, there's also a massive cruiserweight fight this weekend. Sunday, Jake Paul will fight Tommy Fury. How do you think that's going to go? Uh, I think um, Jake is going to win. I think he'll knock him out in the later rounds. I think Tommy will do well, but I think Jake is going to finish him off. And I hate Jake Paul with a passion, but I don't think Tommy Fury is beating Jake. I just don't see it. Doug, would you ever fight Jake Paul? That dude's light work for me. I would fucking knock him out with E. That dude is not on my level. But if he wants to smoke, he wants to get absolutely dominated. Sure, we can make it happen. I don't see why not. Uh, though. Wait, is there any more questions? 
Yeah, we have like two more. All right. Uh, Doug. Um, would you ever consider a move up to heavyweight? And not really, you know, unless I win the title, I can fight for double champ. But for right now, uh, I don't see myself moving up a weight class. You know, I'm focused on one division. I, I got to go out there and I got to get this title. But first, I got to win some fights and boost sees my next fight. So I can't look that far into the future. But trust me, I do see myself becoming a world champion. And I will prove it when I get in there. I'm going to make a statement on Saturday. And I'm going to really put an argument to be in title contention. Especially after I beat somebody in the top five. You know, there's guys like Deadpool. Um, <coughs> Johnny. Bonnie. You know, so it really just depends on what's next to me after this. And we'll just have to find out. Doug, what is your prediction for this fight with Bruce Lee? Uh, I think it'll go into deeper rounds in the later rounds. But I think I'm going to get him out of there around five, round six, round seven. We're on the same rounds I finished with Purple Foxy. Yeah, just a little bit later. Thank you, Doug, for coming to this media day. And we'll see the press conference, the win, and the fight. All right, take care.